This is the Big 12 Conference on ESPN. Welcome to gallagher Iva Arena in Stillwater, Oklahoma, as ESPN presents college wrestling between the 19th-ranked Oklahoma Sooners and the 6th-ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys. Hi, everybody. Clint Kesnick along with Rock Harrison. This rivalry created the name Bedlam. It started with wrestling matches back in the 1920s, and tonight also represents the last dual meet of the season. What uh, should fans expect tonight, Rock? Quinn, I expect two teams to wrestle at the highest level possible. They're rivals, but they're also trying to build momentum as they get towards the postseason. So I expect two guys, two teams to go at it. The best wrestler you'll see tonight is Dayton Fix. He's back with a vengeance at 133. The 2019 runner-up has his eyes on the title. One of the best collegiate wrestlers with Olympic aspirations. Last week, he looked incredibly sharp. Now, he's very good on his feet, has a slide by and an inside trip. And when he gets on top, he has double boots and makes it uncomfortable for his opponent. At 141, Dom Demas is the face of the Sooner program. He is on the cusp of greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, don't blink or you're going to miss something incredible with Dom Demas. He's a counter wrestler who has an inside trip, a duck under, and he will throw you. Now, people are wrestling him a little differently, so expect more traditional shots, more traditional offense from Dom Demas, which makes Coach Roselli a little happy. It is senior night in Stillwater. They will honor Boo Lou Allen. Perseverance paying off. Chronic shoulder injuries. He's healthy now. He's 11-1 in rank. Number four in the nation. Bedlam is next. We'll start things off at 125. The Big 12, ACC, and Pac-12 Championships. Saturday, then the SEC and American Athletic Championships. Sunday on ESPN. Bedlam is built on respect. Never underestimate what can happen when these two teams match up. There's taking a look at Oklahoma. Coach Lou Rosselli in his fifth season. I'll tell you what, when we talked about Lou Rosselli just wants his wrestlers to wrestle hard for seven continuous minutes. John Smith, five-time NCAA team champs in his 30th year now. And one of the funny things that he said in the interview, he said the reason he came to OSU was because of Bedlam. Oh, it's going to be a great night. He told us some of his worst and best memories happened in this series, whether as a wrestler, as a coach. We start things off at 125 with the red singlet, Mason Nafee out of Oklahoma, and Trevor Mastro Giovanni out of Oklahoma State. Immediately a nice slide by, taking it right to Mastro Giovanni. And you know, one of the great things is that you, you want to start the momentum. And last time he wrestled, it was Mastro Giovanni that set the pace, but Nathy came out for a nice slide by to get the things going. Master Giovanni took an 8-2 to two decision back on February 7th. That was Bedlam 1. This is Bedlam 2, two weeks later. Nathy's 1-7 on the season, although his toughness, he won't quit. He's got a great work ethic. He's better than his record indicates. Mastro Giovanni from Oklahoma State on the left is a highly touted freshman, 9-2 and two on the season. He's ranked 17th in the country. Master Giovanni coming off a first round loss in the Cowboy Challenge last weekend. No was certain of Missouri beat him nine to six. John Smith talked about the, the mental challenge for freshmen this time of season. I like what Nathan's doing. He, he is, he's going forward. He's not just backing down. He's going forward and he wants to make sure that he continues to set the pace like he did in the first 15 seconds. Mason's smart. He's a biochem major. Okay, so he's going to make adjustments from that first match and improve his performance in this rematch. Redshirt senior from Tulsa. Juco national runner-up back in 2019. Nafi in the red single. Nice shot there. Mastro Giovanni with two. Takes the lead. Nice little sweep single there. 
He kept the on the ankle, so he kept the ankle in case Nafi wanted to try and kick out, but he had it so tight, he just fouled him to get a takedown. Now, this is where Master Giovanni is stronger. He's pretty good on top heel tilt, but a good roll through Gandhi by Nafi. Wrestling by the edge with 39 seconds to go, first period. Master Giovanni has a significant reach and length advantage. He's a little bit taller than Nafi. There you see Trevor, three-time national prep champ out of Blair Academy, New Jersey. Hey, I'm excited already. He's 3-3, first back, take down each escape each. This is what Bellum's about. You know, Rocky, look at that match on February 7th. It was, the final score was 24 to 10. Okay, Oklahoma State won seven of the, the 10 bouts, but many of them were tight until the third period. And the, and the uh, Cowboys, Oklahoma State dominated the third period. If that can be flipped, this match, this team match, can be extremely close. Now, that first takedown of Mastro, he kept a good stance, bang the head, tap and go, tap and go, cut the corner, and then he keeps it high, and he put the foot right in his armpit to make sure there was no kick out. Mastro Giovanni attempting to get out. He's wrestled some strong third periods this season. Let's see what he can do here in the second. It's been a slow starter, according to his coach, John Smith, in matches this season. But for a freshman, it is quite a reality check. Thrown to the Wolves without a redshirt season. And to your point, Quinn, it's a big difference when you wrestle three minutes in the first period when you're used to high school just being a two-minute first period. Three minutes in the first period against someone that's so good, it will wear you out. But that's why freshmen have to get ready quicker in this COVID environment. It's a free year for these athletes if they choose to make it a free year which is why you see so many true freshmen in lineups. Master was banging on the head. Master was banging on the head, keeping Nafi off position. And he's controlling the elbow. Watch him when he reaches with his left elbow to control the tricep of Nafi. And Nafi needs to get off and make sure he gets off his elbow. And historically, Oklahoma State is known for their elbow control. So when you wrestle Oklahoma State, you have to make sure you get them off of your elbows because they'll do elbows to dumps to high crotches. Cowboys are a program. They excel on their feet historically. They're typically in great shape. And they win close matches in the NCAA championship. They don't beat themselves when the money's on the line. And that comes from just great coaching. When you have someone that's been there, done that, like John Smith, you expect them to be mentally tough. It's a good look at Mason Nafee. He's got a son, Kyler. He's got a daughter, Kalia, with his girlfriend, Addie. There's a lot on his plate. He's a biochem major. He's a college wrestler. You talk about time management, Rock. This, this kid's got a full plate. And he has to lose weight. Now, Mastro was pretty good on top. Now, it's pretty important that Nafi continues to slide forward and get the hips away. Does just that and looking for a reversal. Nafi with the escape, and that should tie things up at four apiece. Riding time, not a factor. So, good scrap to Nafi. This is Bedlam right here. 4-4, four, four, first match. Take down away from taking a lead. If you're Oklahoma, you're happy. Nafi has made shortened this match basically. So Nafi has to continue to move his feet. He, he's he's kind of staying stationary, so he's got to continue to circle. Good defense on that shot by Nafi. Approach the one minute mark. Here's when the mental toughness comes in. One minute left, 4-4, four, four, Bedlam. You're getting a little tired. What did you see earlier in the match? 
Let's we'll just see. Let him read that maybe it will open itself. Fans on their feet. We got to see some more shots. More shots here to open it up, create a scramble here. Master is going to go back to that sweep single. 30 seconds. Nicely set up by Master Giovanni. Can he keep him in bounds? Good fight here. Good He's in fight. tight. Two. Big takedown by Freshman. That was as clutch as it gets. Trevor Mastro Giovanni with the late takedown. Nice patience by the freshman. He had the bear and sucked it in. Way to keep his composure after a tough week last week. Coming back for strong, mentally tough finish. Trevor Mastro Giovanni improves his record to 10 and 2 to end his regular season, the freshman from Blair Academy. Coach John Smith said, we got to strengthen their minds, and he showed the toughness there to get the key to late in that battle. And here he shoots in, goes for a single, then he gets two double slides right up to the middle of the back for a bear hug. And what Nathan's trying to do is trying to get his hips away, but Masterson talks to him, slammed into the mat to get the takedown, stay between, and gets the 3 0 lead for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Well, here he is, Dayton Fix, right side of your screen in the orange, iconic orange singlet, Fix.